All right, let's talk about Kenny Pickett, a guy who I was very fascinated in watching, see how he plays as he's coming off of, uh, I thought, very impressive rookie season. But how is he going to elevate his game and maybe play even better uh, in his second year? I thought he looked very good in the small sample size that we saw him play. Uh, we're going to start off with the play you see on the screen. Zone coverage play. You have a tight end just running underneath this is a very simple play but this is kind of one of the things that i like about pickett in general uh, and he's definitely going to show it off here watch how when the play begins he takes the snap looks over in that direction and there's again it's wide open right easy completion this should be a completion uh if in fact i would actually go as far as to say as if kenny pickett didn't pick up the first down on this play it would be actively a bad play in fact i think uh you could argue every single pittsburgh eligible receiver is open on this play all five could be getting the first down so uh interesting defense there by tampa bay but here's what I like about Kenny Pickett, and here's why I've kind of, uh, really since he's entered the league, been a Kenny Pickett defender, is look at him right now. He's in the throwing motion. He makes his decisions so quick, and quite frankly, he is an NFL quarterback. I realize that's maybe not the uh, best compliment I could give someone who's, you know, in, in the NFL that they're an NFL quarterback, but I mean, like, he just, he does the things that you have to do at this level to succeed. So he gets rid of the football quickly and they are able to get that completion and, you know, tight end was able to turn around and, you know, uh, again, it was, that was a tough play to avoid a hit. That was probably going to result in a hit regardless, but at least Pickett gave him a little bit better of a chance to avoid getting blindsided. And again, sometimes those gaps aren't as big. Sometimes they close quickly. Getting the ball there in a hurry is always important and Pickett definitely knows how to pull the trigger trigger very quickly. Another thing is something like this, where what's going to happen is it's a zone coverage play, uh, and you have a receiver on the outside who's going to run a route that, you know, looks like it could get open, you know, kind of against the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, Zion McCollum is the corner covering him, who, you know, just uh, quite frankly, has not looked great in the NFL so far, so pick on him as much as you can. Probably a smart idea if you're Kenny Pickett, especially here on a third down and 10. Pickett is going to take the snap right here, but there's pressure, so this is not an easy situation for Kenny Pickett, but again, one of the things I really felt like he didn't get enough credit for coming out of college, and people have kind of started to give him the credit he deserves uh, now, is his athleticism. The guy moves incredibly well, uh, which definitely makes things easier, where he doesn't have to stand in the pocket here. He already knows he wants to throw it towards the top of the screen, so why not run in that direction? It'll also make the uh, angle to make the throw a little bit easier. What's the downside in this? Well, the downside would obviously be that if you start moving, you're going to have to throw on to run. So let's see how Pickett can do, how well Pickett can do that. As you see, he's going to be able to go on to run very well, makes this throw, and they're able to pick up a first down. Really good stuff there from Kenny Pickett, I thought, to be able to just pull all that kind of uh, that kind of thing off. And again, it's not necessarily that Kenny Pickett can do this stuff; it's that he can do it consistently, which is what I like. This one's another good one because you know I think about. Him, his time at Pitt, and I think the the critique I had with him, the main critique I had with him, wasn't that his last year was bad or anything. I thought his last year totally was worth a first round pick. Uh, the reason why I was kind of lower on him and still had him as kind of a fringe first rounder in the draft process was it took him, you know, it was really that one year that he was great. It was really that one year that he mastered the offense, and I think that's why he, you know, a lot of people were lower on him, why he went twentieth instead of you know a lot higher, like he probably should have, given what we've seen from him now. But something like this is a great example of kind of what we saw his last year at Pitt uh, and a good chunk last season with uh, Pittsburgh as well is him just sort of mastering the offense and knowing what he has to do. The way the play works, it's not the most difficult concept, right? I mean, typically it's that over the middle route that you want to hit as there's a you know receiver running a deep route that should push the safety and corner in that area further deep. Someone underneath should, you know, get a linebacker there. Hopefully over the middle, there's a window to make the throw. So, okay, can Kenny Pickett is going to take the snap. He you know, runs a play action, looks over in that direction, and is it open is certainly up for debate. I would say as of right now, it isn't open. So Pickett cannot make this throw now, but, and you know, he could throw a check down if he wanted to, but that's not really open, not really going to give him too many yards. Uh, so, I mean, it's open, it would be a catch, but just not going to get you too many yards. So I think Pickett is wisely not going to make that throw, uh, but you can't throw it further deep now. What do you do? Well, watch just him wait. Watch that patience, waits for the throw to get open, and then makes it, 
and that allowed him to pick up a first down. That's good stuff there from Kenny Pickett. Again, it's just a full understanding of not just necessarily which throw you should make. Because everyone kind of talks about making reads as in just that. Which throw do you make? But there's a lot more layers to it than just that. It's sometimes when do you make a throw? Or how do you make a throw? Or, you know, where do you make the throw once you've already decided who you're throwing it to? All that stuff is where Pickett, I think, really excels, especially given the fact that the guy hasn't, you know, even played, uh, a, you know, a full 17-game season yet because he missed some time last year. The fact that he's able to still be at uh, this level already, to me, is just incredibly impressive. And also just stuff like this. You know what? Sometimes forget all that. Sometimes forget all the tough reads. Can you make a tough throw? Can you put it on the money where you need to put it on the money? Right here, third down and eight. You know, you have George Pickens one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. So, all right, that seems like a good opportunity to, you know, look at. That makes sense. It's once again Zion McCollum who's uh, covering him. So, yeah, definitely a mismatch. Definitely something that you're going to want to take advantage of if you're Kenny Pickett. Watch how Pickett's going to take the snap right here. And you, he looks further down the field. And it's open, but it's not wide open. There isn't a ton of separation necessarily. So, for Pickett, you do want to make this throw further away from uh, the sideline, right? Closer to the middle of the field That because pick that's where, you know, Pickens is. Pickens has the inside leverage. So, okay, throw it in that direction. Makes sense. But keep in mind, Tampa Bay has players covering the middle of the field. So, you can't go too far in that direction. This is a difficult throw on a key third down and eight. Pickett's throw, though, is right on the money, and then McCollum fell down. Uh, you know, Pickens then made a move and was able to get into the end zone for a touchdown, so great stuff in his own right. But I thought Pickett did a really good job on this play and made a really good throw. So, uh, you know, to me, this is a very impressive play, I would say. So what does this all mean? I don't know if it means a ton. Again, uh, Pickett is someone who we expect to be good this year, like he's coming off a good year. I guess, you know, you can think of other players who have had good rookie years and then have regressed, like a Baker Mayfield, like a Mac Jones, um, but I'm not necessarily uh, going to just assume that Pickett will follow in that direction. The best indicator of future success is past success, and he has shown success in the past, and I do think has looked maybe even a little better here in this preseason so far. It's such a small sample size, it's hard to say, but he just feels like he has such a command for this offense and that's really one of the things that you have to you know like about Kenny Pickett I think is how well he has command of this offense so again uh what does it all mean I'm not exactly sure but it's very fascinating uh it's just a very fascinating thing to see and hey uh it was also cool to see uh, George Pickens do what he can do so you know uh what am I expecting from Kenny uh for Kenny Pickett this season is an interesting question. I I think he'll be very good still. I, I do think he'll improve. I, I think Kenny Pickett is on the right path. To me, I think the question is, how good can Kenny Pickett get? Is he going to ever be like an elite level quarterback, or is he just going to be like a, you know, a franchise quarterback, which there's nothing wrong with that, certainly, especially when you're on your rookie deal. But either way, um, you know, having a quarterback who can be a top 15 quarterback on a rookie contract, the Steelers should be very competitive for the next three years or so. Uh, I guess, you know, three years, years and then if he can you know uh we'll see how the contract goes uh after that but yeah uh those are my thoughts what are yours let me know in the comments below uh am I getting too excited about Kenny Pickett or no am I not gonna be excited enough let me know in the comments below always love hearing from you of course as always thanks for watching